something, but you come here to raise up holy hands. You come here to give God some praise because the Lord has brought me from a mighty long way. Anybody come here just to praise him? You, 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 you. You didn't come to be seen, and you didn't come to show off your stuff and strut down the aisle. You just come to say thank you. You just come to ask for forgiveness. You just ultimately come to get better. You come here to praise his holy name. God want to make a distinction this morning. Is there anybody here that only came to lift up the name of Jesus because God has been so good to me? You just want to say thank you. You were so glad when you woke up this morning and your eyes open and your feet could walk and your hands could touch. You just want to say thank you, Lord. I'm glad that last night was not my sleep or death. Lord, I just want to say thank you. I didn't come here to fill a quota this morning. But I came here to say thank you, Lord. I could have said it at home, but where two or three gather together, God will be in the midst. I need somebody that don't even care what folks say about me no more. But I'm going to praise the Lord. I'm going to say thank you. I'm going to say hallelujah. I'm going to give him some glory. Whatever it takes, I'm going to pray. I'm going to praise the Lord. Uh-huh. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Good Lord. Come on, preach. Sit down. But something occurs as we read past our text. Mm-hmm. Down by verse 39 in the same chapter, some Pharisees were in the multitude and they said, Master, rebuke the disciples. In other words, they're making too much noise. Tell them to shut up and go home. This is Jerusalem. We're dignified. Potentates. The hierarchy. Church officials. We, we are leaders and we're educated. But wait a minute. There is a tacit agreement, <laughs> but now it's published. A theological concept, the Bible truth, an atmosphere for the redeemed. Uh-huh. We have a right yeah. to praise his holy name. How, how did you get it? God approved it. Heaven enforced it. Uh-huh. Angels proclaimed it. Yeah. Jesus instilled it. Uh-huh. The Holy Ghost enhanced it. Yeah. And church, we got it. Uh We have a right to praise his holy name. Don't let anybody kill your praise. Help me, somebody. I know my rights. Uh I have a right to an attorney. Uh I have the right to freedom of speech. Uh And since we're getting close to Black History Month, I have a right to vote. Help me, somebody. And to sit on the front of the bus. But most of all, I've got one right that hell can't steal from me, that the church folk can't sit me down, but I've got a right to praise his holy name. And now one more thing that the text teaches us and I'll be through. Not only do I have a right and you have a right to praise his name, but we have a reason to praise his name. Can I go from right to reason? The psalmist said, sing unto the Lord, for he has done marvelous things. Marvelous things, he brought me out. He carried me over. He has been so, so, so good to me. Not only in Durham, not only in North Carolina, not only in the United States, but all over the world, and especially on the cross. On the cross, he paid the price. On the cross, he suffered shame. On the cross, he gave up the ghost. 
On Calvary, he negotiated my contract. On Calvary, my debt was canceled. On Calvary, my bill was paid. On Calvary, he was betrayed by Judas, denied by Peter, and forsaken by me and you. On Calvary, he was mocked by Herod, tried by Caiaphas, and condemned by Pilate. On Calvary, he was passed from judgment hall to judgment hall. On Calvary, they whipped him all night long. On Calvary, they put a crown of thorns on his head and a cross on his shoulder. On Calvary, they put a whip on his back. On Calvary, they placed nails in his hands and nails in his feet. Yeah. On Calvary, his blood streamed down his brow. Uh -huh. On Calvary, the noonday sun refused to shine. Uh -huh. On Calvary, the earth reeled and rocked from side to side. Uh -huh. On Calvary, darkness was everywhere. Yeah. On Calvary, I tell you, he gave up the ghost. Yeah. That means he died. Uh -huh. He died until justice was satisfied. Yeah. He died until mercy was personified. Well, he died until until the law was vindicated. Uh -huh. He died until the sinner was reinstated. Uh -huh. He died until the fountain opened up. Yeah. He died until death was defeated. Uh -huh. He died until the grave was destroyed. Uh -huh. He died until heaven wept. Yeah. He died until the earth cried. Uh -huh. He died until hell danced. Uh -huh. He died until God got glory. Uh -huh. But after he died, yeah. he refused to stay dead. Yeah. Uh -huh. He didn't stay dead long enough to schedule a wait, to post a funeral, to print a bulletin, or for a rabbi to write a eulogy. Jesus was a city boy. They drug him out of the city, nailed him to the cross, buried him in the tomb. But three days later, he got up on the countryside and went back to the city. This is what happened. He died on Friday, but he rose three days later. He died between two thieves, but he rose between two angels. He died like a criminal, but he rose like the son of the living God. He died, but that's not how the story ends. He died, but the best is yet to come. He died, but the grave didn't have a say-so. He died, but Satan couldn't keep him. Hell couldn't possess him. He died but he still lives and because he lives I can face tomorrow because he lives all fear is gone because I know he holds the future and life is worth living just because my savior lives isn't he wonderful isn't he marvelous isn't he precious isn't he almighty isn't he everlasting isn't he holy God is good all the time and all the time God is good matter of fact he picked me up and turned me around set my feet on holy ground did he bless you did he keep you did he feed you did he deliver you been pretty good been pretty kind I have a right you have a right we have a right to praise his holy name. Somebody give God some praise up in here.